Hey guys, it's Mobile PC Reviews here, and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to swap out the RAM in a Lenovo Y580. I don't actually have any extra RAM spare here, but I'm just going to show you guys basically how to do it. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, I actually disconnected the power completely from the laptop, which is what you should do. Uh, you need to ground yourself, so touch some kind of metal. And um, yeah, so here we're going to jump on in. So the first thing, come on, focus, focus. Uh, I need a new camera. There we go. There, perfect. Okay. Yes. Stay focused. Okay. So, screws. Uh, there are two screws. Uh, screw A and screw B. And you'll notice that there's an entire section panel here. That's a giant panel thingy. So, yeah, that's all cool. Uh, so, I'll take the screw off first. Uh, you'll notice I am using a pretty beefy screwdriver for this uh, to take the screws out. That's because I don't want to strip the heads as I'm taking it out, but putting back in, I would recommend not using a very large screwdriver. So I'm just going to fast forward this part here so you guys can get the gist of it. Alright, so I got those two screws out, and uh, to make sure you don't lose those, because they're pretty hard to find if you're going to want to replace those. Uh, so the back panel just slides off like that. You can just pull it down and lift it up, and that is the base of the laptop. You'll notice you have your two RAM sticks here, one on top of the other. They're stacked on top of each other. You got your wireless card here, and here is the MSATA slot, so you can stick a mini SSD in there. Here you have your RAM, and here you can see part of the copper tubing that leads to the heatsink, and uh, the CPU and the GPU are both right here. Um, now, just while I'm in this, and you can also see the CD uh, CD drive here, uh, Lenovo says that this doesn't really say that this is a gaming laptop, and the reason is because most gaming laptops with these performance specs have a have two cooling things. They have one here and one here, and the cooling goes that way for just for the GPU, and the cooling goes this way just for the CPU. Um, that's just to give it extra cooling, uh, but for this, because both of them are are on the same heat sink, uh, you're going to get hotter temperatures. But again, I have yet to have an issue with it overheating. Uh, I think the most I've ever gotten it to, I think I said this in another video, is like 88 degrees. So anyway guys, I'm going to get into the point here. I'm going to try to uh, take this out. I actually haven't done this before. Um, yeah, uh, not exactly certain how to do this. Pretty sure you just pull these out, push down. One sec, guys, I'm just going to figure this out. Okay, guys, so I just figured out how to do this. Uh, it's relatively simple. You'll see these two metal bars on either side of the RAM. Uh, Dylan, hey, hey. Sorry, my dog's eating food off the table. Uh, so you got these two metal bars here, and you're just going to want to push these off to either side, and out comes the RAM. Now, the same concept for the bottom one, and the RAM just slides out like that. And as you can see, this is the RAM. Do not touch this metal part this bottom part for the RAM, you don't want to touch that because uh, you can short circuit it. Uh, when you're putting it back in, just make sure that it is lined up. You'll notice a gap here and you'll notice a gap there. So I mean, if I was to swap it out, I'd take my other RAM and I'd take it and I'd put it back in like so. Just very carefully. There we go. go and it just snaps in like that. Just make sure that the clips are completely secured on both sides. Uh, when you're pushing it in make sure you do have even pressure on each side or else you could uh, risk bending the chip. Um, so I'm just going to boot it up and uh, see if I mess anything up or not. Okay guys so I booted up here and uh, as you can see 8094 megabytes of RAM installed in the computer. So that's 8 gigabytes. And as you can see, it's working just fine. Eight cores, four cores, each hyper-threaded. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and a shout-out to the person that asked me to do all this uh, because, yeah, you're the people that make my channel successful and whatnot. So anyway, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe.